Hello and welcome to the last official part, part 12 of my Nations League jersey review, still wearing Belgium, right here. Um, let's get straight to it. Uh, I hope that tomorrow I have a video up with the jerseys that I missed. So we have 13 parts of European um, jerseys, all nations covered after this video. I'm very proud, proud of that, and now I'm going to write about them and try to get grades out, which is a little bit more of a daunting task, but I'm actually looking forward to that one. So as I said, let's get right to it. This time I did it alphabetically because it uh, worked out quite well this way. And we'll start off with Armenia, um, which again gets Macron kits, and these are really nice, very plain. Uh, there's nothing on the shirt itself. I love the crest. I think this is uh, two lions on there. And of course, I love the collar, the opening and then the short collar. Really nice. And also that it's, um, you know, a red, a blue collar with a little bit of yellow. So you get the national colors in and you also see the little bit on the sleeve cuffs. Uh, flag trim might have been even nicer, but this one looks good. And you have also on the shirt tail something like that. That's a really nice looking shirt. Uh, the away jersey just takes the white there and there you see now the Armenian flag that on the home jersey it's also there but you cannot really see it because it's also there's this white speck but yeah there's a flag on there I would like to see a full flag trim maybe a little bit more red on this one could have done well I'm thinking the Macron logos could have been in red or maybe you can have made the shirt tail the sleeve cuffs red to just give a little bit more though I like the sleeve cuffs here because with the blue you see the flag a little bit better but it could have been a bit wider I think. But yeah, some red is missing here, but overall also nice jersey. Not as nice looking, in my opinion, than the home jersey, but uh, works well. It's definitely one of the better Macron jerseys. Gibraltar is a small nation that doesn't get Macron jerseys. They have a contract with Legea, and here we see the third uh, official Gibraltar home jersey. Official because that's the third competition they're taking part in. And of course in red, but this is very interesting. Uh, first of all, the white crew neck collar, then it has a little darker red triangle and then a diagonal pattern. Um, I don't know, these dots look odd to me. It almost looks like super ventilation. I'm pretty sure it's not ventilation in this case, although that would be uh, very <laughs> forward thinking. And I like the pinstripe going through, so it gives it a very uh, structured feel. Uh, a modern look. I'm not sure about the sweat stains, the white ones on the side, white sweat stains, it doesn't make sense. But what I love is the crest. The crest is a beauty, absolutely gorgeous. Um, overall, I like it. I would wish that the, it was not a dotted pattern on there, but a little bit more of a um, solid color. But then you would have a little bit um, that um, the striping pattern there. But it's a very interesting kit, and I think for a small nation like Gibraltar, stand out, stand out from 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 the back. And for a kit maker like Legea, I know they had uh, Bosnia Herzegovina up until 2014, right uh, before the World Cup. It's great to see them at a national team jersey. That will probably attract quite some people. Uh, the away jersey it reminds me a little bit about the Czech home jersey in 2016 with those chevrons. It get a little bit wider to the bottom and those chevrons are made with uh, vertically uh, small stripes. It's an interesting look with the color gradient but I'm not too much sold on it. I like the more, how to say, more out of the box thinking on the home kit more than this chevron pattern which has the color gradient which we somehow have seen before. I do however like the flag trim, kind of. Uh, because the Gibraltar flag is white and a little bit red and then there's the castle on there. So I like that a lot. Uh, the shoulders and the sleeves a little bit darker than the body. Yeah, it's so and so. I mean, it's not a bad kit. It looks all right, but um, I actually like the home kit better. Another Macron team is Liechtenstein, which gets a similar uh, color to Armenia, but it's slightly different and you can see uh, Macron really tries for every nation to do something special. Of course Liechtenstein with the crown crest which is a nice one and now it's doubled up. There's this shadow pattern and then you also 
you kind of see, uh, it's not a crown pin, it's a village scene on the bottom of the shirt. I absolutely love that one. Now, uh, given that Liechtenstein colors um, in white and red, maybe a little bit red on the jersey could have done well, but I think Liechtenstein always had um, blue with some white accents. We get the red, of course, in the away jersey, which to me is always kind of the question, why does Liechtenstein have a red away jersey, blue and red, not really complementary colors. We probably will have a white jersey as well. It's almost the same, except for the collar. The collar is more of a short collar, a rugby style collar on the home jersey and here on the away jersey, it's more a standing collar. And it's really the only the color that, uh, and the color, color and color that differentiate it. I personally like the blue one better because the crown stands out better on that one, but yeah. Uh, it's again is a nice um, kit that Macron delivered. I think Macron did overall quite well with those. And then the last one is the team that won the group, which is uh, Firem, Macedonia, Northern Macedonia, former Yugoslav Republic of Macedonia, however you want to call them, who also have a non standard sponsor in Yako, which have the typical pattern with the dots on the shoulders. I'm not sure about the piping and the color per se, which is kind of, you know, a Mandarin color with a very wide opening. But what I love is the sun pattern around the crest, which of course also resembles the flag. That is a great feature that actually pulls this shirt way higher than it probably uh, would be otherwise. This is a really, really great feature. I think Japan should has used something like that and should use, some, use something like that more often. It really fits well with the flag. Also, it's radiating out, so you go away from the original, uh, very contested flag that they had uh, previously. The away jersey does the same thing, just we have here all the jerseys in white and gray and has a red color, which I guess makes sense overall, although I could see that the radiation could also go out in red or in yellow. I find the numbering style a little bit off and the lettering but overall i think they're not the best kits uh, i think you should do away with the piping along this is very much 2006 style but other than that i think the idea with this radiating sun out from the crest that's a great idea and yeah we'll probably see this jersey relatively soon again well that was that we're done with all the nations except for the for a few jerseys that we didn't look at i will get you updated on those in the next video and yeah let me know which jerseys you liked which ones you disliked uh what are your opinions on these give me a thumbs up if you like this video and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of these and i will talk to you soon bye